Now, Star Hobson was just 16 months old when she died at the hands of a woman who was supposed to look after her. In her short life, five people reported their fears about Star's welfare to social services, but it wasn't enough to save her. A jury at Bradford Crown Court today convicted Savannah Brockhill, the partner of Star's mother, of murdering the little girl, while Star's mother, Frankie Smith, was found guilty of the lesser charge of causing or allowing the death of a child. From Bradford, here's Jane Dodge and a warning. Her report inevitably contains distressing detail. <laughs> she was the most adorable baby, a beautiful child. That's how Star Hobson's great granddad remembers her. But this photo, taken two months before she died, showed extensive bruising to her cheek, evidence of the abuse she'd been suffering over many months. Today, Savannah Brockhill was found guilty of her murder. Star's mother, Frankie Smith, was found guilty of causing or allowing the death of a child. The couple had been in a relationship since Christmas 2019. This has been a particularly upsetting, distressing investigation for everybody involved. No child should ever suffer as Star suffered, and particularly not at the hands of those that are supposed to be caring for them and love them the most. Under the service, is the patient breathing? Uh, yes, yeah, she's breathing. Is she conscious? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. She's got um, a bit of both, really. That's the voice of Savannah Brockhill. The court heard the couple had delayed the call while they did an internet search on shock in babies. She, she was crying and then she stopped crying and then she was sick. And now she's just a little bit floppy, to be honest with you. Star's injuries were described as utterly catastrophic and unsurvivable. They were caused by punching, stamping or kicking to the abdomen. Star's great-granddad tries to remember the good times. He and his partner regularly looked after the toddler until he says Brockhill stopped them seeing her. We used to call her the monster. She was just evil. We used to call her the devil. But I mean... Why? Why did you call her the monster? It was just how she, she was. I mean, when she came on the scene, straight away we noticed Frankie were covered in bruises. I said to her, Frankie, you need to get away from her. She's going to ruin your life. It was CCTV footage at this recycling plant in Doncaster which proved so damning. Savannah Brockhill was a security guard here and brought Star with her nine days before she died. The CCTV footage appeared to show Brockhill punching and slapping Star with what the prosecution described as considerable force. At one point, the toddler fell out of the car. The court was told she was hit 21 times in nearly three hours as she sat in her car seat. The CCTV was shown to the jury, but has been deemed too harrowing to be released to the public. A Snapchat video shown in court has been released. It shows Brockhill threatening those trying to contact Star's mother, Frankie Smith. If you want to keep your kneecaps, I suggest you stop sending her them. And there's a chilling sign-off. She's with the number one psycho. Seen here holding Star, Brockhill said the toddler was much loved. Pretty good. He was spoiled pretty good. But friends and family concerned for Star's safety made five referrals to social services. So we rang the social services and we thought, well, we'll get them either come down to us and say, right, where's this? But we never heard anything. And then kids came down, it were a few hours later. She says, oh, she says, the bean of social services. She says, oh, yeah, what did they say? Um, well, they just said there's no case to answer. It's all malicious gossip. Following today's verdicts, the Bradford Partnership, which includes social services, issued a statement. There is much that we need to learn from this case. We have already put in place actions that will improve our practice so that we learn those lessons. But we need to fully understand why opportunities to better protect Star were missed. The verdicts come less than a fortnight after the stepmother of six-year-old Arthur Labinjo Hughes was found guilty of his murder. His father was found guilty of manslaughter. The review into Starr's death will feed into the national review into Arthur's murder that was commissioned by the government. But once again, a child known to the authorities has failed to get the protection they deserved.